She has been monitoring this mom duck who has been incubating her eggs. She has said she's not seen the mom around. These eggs are just sitting there, have not been incubated for the past couple days. These eggs are truly abandoned. Now we are a thousand percent that the mom is not coming back. Oh my. Are you lying? Goodness, do you see that? Do you see the egg? So we're going in for the first egg right here. and Oh my goodness. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, in today's video, for the past couple days, I have been in contact with this lady that lives in this housing community that me and Jacob used to live in when we were babies growing up. Now this lady particularly lives on the lake of this community. Now this lake is ginormous, and when me and Jacob were younger, we would always go and always feed all of the ducks that were there. Now guys, when we were younger, there were so many ducks. There were countless and countless numbers of ducks there. Now for the past couple years, these invasive Muscovy ducks have actually been removed from the park and people have actually gone around and poked holes in their eggs so they stop reproducing so much. And it's honestly so sad because this is their home, this is where they grow up, they don't know anything else, and this is where they raise their offspring. Now since she lives directly on this lake, she walks there every single morning and she makes sure all the ducks are okay and goes around and feeds them, but she has been monitoring this mom duck who has been incubating her eggs. Now for the past couple days, she has said she's not seen the mom around, these eggs are just sitting there, have not been incubated for the past couple days, and of course we've made sure that the mom hasn't come back and if these eggs are truly abandoned now we are a thousand percent that the mom is not coming back she was either taken or hit by a car unfortunately now guys what we are going to be doing in today's video is we're going to be heading over and rescuing these eggs but of course since it's a giant park we had her take some pictures to narrow it down exactly where this nest is so guys the only thing left to do is to head over and rescue these babies all right guys, so me and Miranda have made it to the duck park. You can see Miranda has the egg carton right here. And guys, take a look for yourself. So already we have a group of Muscovy ducks that have made their way to us because they think that we're gonna feed them. But guys, I'm really sorry. We, we have no food for you, okay? And next time I'm gonna bring food. But guys, if you take a look at this park, you can see that this park goes for miles. It is one big loop right here and it is ginormous. Now you can see there's barely any ducks. So someone actually has come, has removed the ducks out of here, which is pretty unfortunate because this is their home. This is where they raise their babies. And it's so sad to think that someone has just taken that away from them. Now guys, as you can tell, this park is huge. So the lady who did tell me about this abandoned nest, I had her narrow it down, send me pictures of exactly where this nest is. Now I know this park like the back of my hand. Me and Jacob grew up here. We used to live here when we were babies. And she said that the nest was over here. And I know of one nest over here. And mom ducks always lay their eggs over here. So you can see it's pretty steep. So we gotta be careful where you're walking. So be careful, Miranda, that you don't fall. Cause she has the cart in that we're gonna be putting the eggs in. So we're just gonna make our way. I don't know if you can see it, but it kinda, kinda caves in right here. And this is exactly what we're talking about. And <gasps> Miranda, come look at this. Oh my. Are you lying? Goodness, do you see that? Do you see the egg? Oh, oh this is the exact picture she sent us. There's an egg out of the nest. Now let's make our way down here. All right, guys. Oh, okay. <gasps> Goodness, Miranda, we found it. Do you see this? Oh, oh my, my goodness. Now, I don't know how long these eggs have not been without a mom. How long they have not been incubated and these babies might be bad. But that's why we have the carton right here. We're gonna be taking these eggs home, incubating them, and cross our fingers, guys, that we have some fertile eggs. But guys, let's take a look at this one egg right here. It doesn't look too good. You can see it has some brown marks and <gasps> Yeah, guys, if we turn it around, oh my goodness, that looks like a bad egg to me. Now, when eggs have spots like that, that means they have gone bad. And you can clearly tell that it was sitting outside of the nest because the mom probably pushed it out because she sensed it was bad. Now, guys, let, let's, let's do a smell test and see if it's really bad. Oh, oh my goodness, Miranda, smell this egg. Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really bad. But just in case this baby is fertile, let's go ahead and open the carton up. So we're just gonna go ahead, put it in this carton right here, but we're not gonna move it around too much because we wanna make sure that if it is fertile, that we don't break the yolk in there. But you can see we have a whole crew just watching us. Yeah, guys, I'm helping these babies over here. So we're going in for the first egg right here. and Oh my goodness, yeah, these eggs are literally freezing cold. So I don't know the last time that these babies have been incubated. We're just gonna put them in just like so. Okay, we have 
the third egg right here. We have number four. You can see how I'm carefully placing it in because we don't want to move it around too much. We have four. All right, we're going to go for this one right here. All right, we're almost done. Five. And six. And the last but not least little baby in the back. And seven. Okay, so we're just going to put this little guy right here. There we go. Now just to make sure there's no more babies, we're just going to take our hand in here and carefully move these leaves around. And yeah, guys, you can see that there's nothing in here. But oh, what is this? <gasps> this, I think this is an old egg. Do you see this? Do you see this, Miranda? What is it? It's not hard. It's like kind of like rubbery. There's feathers in it. You can see that there's like veins in there from a baby. So this probably is an old egg that was in here from a previous nest. So we're just going to keep on looking. Oh my goodness, guys. There's another one. Look. Oh my goodness. What the heck? So we've made it back to the car. We got our eggs secured. So we're just going to go ahead and take another look at them right here. Oh my goodness, guys. I can't believe that we have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see that they are covered in dirt, but we don't want to move them around, so we're just going to go ahead, close them up, make sure they're nice and secure, and Miranda's actually going to be holding them for the car ride. But guys, we must get home immediately, get these eggs incubated to ensure that if they have a possibility of being fertile, that we get them in the incubator ASAP. Now, when we get home, we're also going to be candling the eggs. Now, most likely, we're not going to be seeing anything when we candle them because it might be too early, and sometimes when they're not incubated for a certain amount of time, it will actually take longer to incubate these babies. So we're just going to be monitoring them for the next couple days. But guys, I'll catch you all once we make it home. So we have made it back to my house. We got the incubator right here. Now this is what we're going to be incubating them in. It's going to tell us the temperature and the humidity right here. So we want the humidity about 50% and we want the temperature to range between 95 and 100 degrees to ensure that these babies have a chance of survival. So we have our eggs here, we have our incubator, and of course we have our egg turner right here. Now what this egg turner does is a couple times a day, it will actually turn the egg. Now the reason we must make sure that we turn the egg is because if we don't turn the egg and the egg just sits in one place all day, well the yolk will actually stick to one side of the shell and will not develop properly. So we wanna make sure our egg turner is working properly. We have growing eggs and they are being turned a couple times a day so what the first thing that we are gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open our incubator on up okay so we're gonna put the top down so you can see this little grate right here and we have divots on the bottom of the grates right here now what we want to do is we have a cup of water right here and we must fill up each little divot with water and the reason we do this is this is what's going to make the humidity high so we got two filled up. We're gonna do three. Just put a little bit in each. All right, okay, we're running out of water, but we're gonna put the last little water, and there we have it. All of our little divots are filled up. You can see the water is glistening. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the top of our incubator, put it back on. All right, guys. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug our incubator on in. And immediately what pops up when we plug it in is the humidity and the temperature. Now you can see the humidity is 52 and the temperature is 68. Now it's completely inaccurate right now since we just turned it on. We must make sure it warms up to the perfect temperature for these growing little eggs. So as we wait for that to heat up, we are gonna install our egg turner. So we've got our egg turner installed. You can see that is what's going to be controlling it right here. And it has this whole little panel on the side. And if you see this little piece right here that I'm pointing at, that is actually what's going to be turning this egg turner every single day. So the only thing left to do is to go on ahead and plug it in in three, two, and... All right, guys, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's a very, very low humming sound. Now, we want to make sure before we put our eggs in here that our egg turner is working properly. So we're just going to give it a little bit of time, let the incubator heat up, make sure the egg turner is working, and then we will be adding our duck eggs. So guys, our incubator is almost heated up to the perfect temperature, but if you take a look right here, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but if you look at the egg turner right here, you can see it's not completely straight and it's kind of on an angle, and that's a great sign that our egg turner is working, that there's a great possibility in a couple days we'll see growth on these eggs. And our incubator is at the perfect temperature and the perfect humidity. Now the only thing left to do is to add our eggs. Now we don't want to open the incubator up all the way, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slightly just 
screwed it on over so I'm able to reach my hand in. And we're going to go ahead and open our eggs on up very carefully. Okay, so we want to make sure we don't add the bad egg. All right, so this is not the bad egg. So we're going to go ahead and add this egg in. Okay, so we got one egg. We got the second egg. We got the third egg. Just add it in a little. There we go. We have the fourth egg. You can see there's a little bit of dirt on it. So we got four. We got five. Okay, we're almost done. So we got five in there. And we got the last and final egg. So we got six eggs in there. You can see they are nice and secure. Go on ahead, close this back up. And there we have it. The incubating process has started. Now if we go ahead and candle these eggs, there's going to be nothing inside because they haven't been incubated. We're just going to see a plain egg in there. Now in a couple days, cross our fingers, we have some veins in there. And when we see veins, we know that we have some growing babies. Now the reason we didn't add this bad egg and the reason we know it's a bad egg is because it has bad spots on it has brown spots as you can see and it just looks bad and the smell guys yeah it smells really really bad now if we add this egg into the incubator it's going to go bad in the incubator it's going to explode and possibly contaminate our good eggs and if that happens we are going to lose all of our eggs in the incubator so we want to take extra precaution and we are not going to add this egg in here but i'm thinking we need to crack this egg open and see what's inside now this egg is probably barely developed or not developed at all so i'm assuming there's nothing going to be inside but we're gonna head inside and crack this egg open so we got our egg we got our plate and we got a razor blade to crack our egg open now unfortunately it saddens me that this egg didn't make it but this is the cycle of life some eggs make it some eggs aren't fertile and some just go bad like this one so what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna hold our egg in place and we're just gonna go on ahead and it might explode guys but we're just gonna go on ahead cut in the egg just a little bit okay oh Oh, oh my, do you smell that, Miranda? It smells horrible. Oh my gosh, that smells horrible. It's, it's disgusting. Now it doesn't show any signs of being fertile, but it does have some brown spots over here. And I'm not sure if it's going to be able to pick that up on camera, but this egg is for sure bad. So thankfully we did not put it in the incubator and we did not contaminate the other eggs. But now guys, we cracked this egg open. We got our other eggs in the incubator. We are going to have to monitor our eggs very closely because we have to make sure that the incubator does not get too hot or too cold because if the incubator gets too cold, well, it could delay the incubating period. And if it gets too hot, well, it will just cook our eggs. Now it's gonna take about a month, about 28 days to incubate our eggs. Now we have quite some time to go, so guys, that is going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, rescuing these abandoned eggs and getting them into the incubator will give this video a big thumbs up. Now guys, what I want you to do is comment down below a prayer that these eggs are fertile and they make it. Now guys, if you wanna see if these eggs hatch and if they are fertile, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel, the link down below.